I created my new world and named it my first speed run. Before we continue, I want to point out that I have not gone to, gone to the nether or even seen the dragon yet. So everything pretty much that I'm doing in this video is all new to me. I loaded into the world and realized that I was in a forest. It's probably not the best spawn ever, but I got right to work on getting trees. Like normal Minecrafters, I made a crafting table and got a axe down and started chopping down more trees. Minecraft was even extremely new to me at this point. I had just recently got the game and I was already trying to speedrun. However, if Dream can speedrun, I can too. I gathered a good amount of wood, and soon I had enough for a pickaxe and a sword, which is just what I needed to continue. If there's one thing that I know about speedrunning, you do not stand still or make a house or stand in any place for a while. However, by this time I wanted out of the forest, so I made it to a quick field nearby. Sheep were already available, so that would be easy for a bed. While speedrunning, you run a lot, and you're gonna need a lot of food to continually run. However, I was already tired of wooden tools. It was definitely time for an upgrade. While gathering food, I noticed a cave nearby. Here, I can start gathering stone and start farming for stone tools. If any mobs showed up now, I'd be pretty useless with wooden swords. However, I also needed stone for a furnace. I wanted to start cooking stuff as soon as possible. However, just as I was about to leave, a skeleton emerged from the cave. I didn't really want to get into a fight in it, so I tried to kill it as cheesy as possible. The other thing I needed was a shield. I really hated skeletons, and, you and the only way to go against them is with a shield. I got some more food and upgraded to stone tools. It was about time. For now, all I needed is a stone pickaxe and axe, but I would need more later on. I also got a furnace going. I would need to smelt iron when I got it. I also wanted cooked food. While the food cooked, I went and grabbed more wood. We would need a lot of it for burning and for coal and for torches. If I wanted to find any type of iron, I would need coal and torches to go deep into the caves. Unfortunately, I hadn't found coal yet, so I had to do it the old-fashioned way, with logs. So far, so good. I had gotten a lot of animals, and looks like the iron was coming along well, too. Of course, because this is Minecraft speedrun, I would need to continue to move camp. We wouldn't stay in one place. I crafted more wooden tools and more torches, and soon I was ready to go back to my old little cave. I needed iron for a shield, and also an iron pickaxe. If I found something good, I wouldn't be able to mine it. As you can see, this creeper here blew up, and it actually exposed an even deeper part of the cave. However, I wasn't ready to go down there yet, and I did find some iron at the back of the cave. I also found a bit of coal, which would be extremely helpful in making more torches and exploring more deeper caves. Before leaving the cave, I had another encounter with a skeleton. Kind of annoying. It was time to continue with my speed run. I decided that I would continue traveling in one direction until I found a desert. If you're wondering why I needed a desert, it's because they have lava pools. I had learned from Dream and his crew that you can actually make a nether portal without having a diamond pickaxe or even having any diamonds at all. All you needed was one bucket of water and a lava pool. In a new open field, I set up camp again. I needed to smelt more items and make another furnace. I was getting to a point where I needed two, one for food and one for iron. At this point, it seemed like I was getting enough iron that I would have a full iron armor by the end of the day. However, there's other things that you have to keep track of, like food and torches. I had spent a lot of food while running today, and I was pretty much at my end for food. So it's definitely time to start farming for some. And that really is the best thing about fields, is that there's tons of animals all over the place. Unfortunately, the sun was slowly setting, and I knew that the end of day one would have to come right about now. I finished getting all the iron and food out, got ready for bed. If you don't remember at the beginning of this video, I actually killed three sheep, exactly three, which is how much you need for a bed. So I was definitely looking to get to bed soon. However, as much as I needed to keep up my food stock, I also needed to keep my coal and torches stock up. For this, I needed more logs. Again, it was getting dark, and I didn't want mobs to spawn, even though I was in a field. So I made a bed, and quickly slept at my camp that night. In the morning, I made no more torches. I was taking a look at finding a really good cave and maybe finding some diamonds. I packed up camp and continued my journey. I would need more stuff if I wanted to beat the Ender Dragon and get to the Nether. I gathered even more resources and food on the way. I continued my route in the same direction, looking for a deep cave. I thought I found it, but it's really just a really big hole. Yeah. I try to keep my pace going in the same direction, but keep getting distracted by flowers that are growing in the air. However, I did happen to find a little bit of a cave. Didn't have much, no iron, but it did have coal. 
and I didn't want to have a good supply of torches. I killed more animals and continued my direction after coming out of the cave. After walking for a good amount of time, I ran into a mountain. This had a lot of coal in the side, and certainly there was caves around where I could get some iron. As of right now, it looks like the caves are a good place for me to stay, so I set camp up here as well. I also got a key ingredient, water. I explored the little crevices around the mountain, but there was nothing, just a little bit of coal. Every time I thought I was stepping into a cave, it just led to the other side. Really disappointing. Well, at least there's plenty of animals. I decided to continue moving out of the mountains. There was really nothing there. No caves. Nothing. I decided that if I did not find a cave by the end of the day, I would just dig straight down and strip mine. Or maybe even find a mine shaft or something. Well, it took all day and I did not find a cave. So time to dig straight down. But there was one more thing that I needed. Before any situation you want to dig down, you need a shield. You can run into a skeleton and die. And that's what I made. I started digging down, and after a while, I went plop right into a ravine. The place where I dug must have been a hot spot, because there was a lot here. However, you have to be extremely careful in ravines. There's a lot of strange things that happen, like this zombie who didn't want to attack me. I immediately thanked myself for making a shield. There was a lot of mobs underneath. And one skeleton was actually stuck in the waterfall that I was trying to get down by. It took a little bit of effort, but I made it down, and he wasn't able to shoot me at all. And that was my shield. I noticed immediately that there was more mobs than I expected. That's what happens every time. I hadn't found more diamonds, but there was some lava, which could be useful. I made sure to light up the whole surrounding so no more mobs could spawn, and maybe I could set up camp here. However, you know how it is. Mobs just come absolutely out of nowhere, and I, there's nothing I can do about it. However, don't fear. I'm thinking Dream's tactics are coming back to me. After killing most of the mobs, I lit up the entire surroundings. No mobs were spawning here again, unless they fell. After searching the cave for a while, I did find some of the good stuff. Although you may be thinking you have way too much iron already, remember I wanted iron armor before I went to any other dimensions. Since no more mobs were spawning, I took the chance to set up my furnaces and make a small camp. Up until now, I've been using a stone sword. It was definitely time for an upgrade. I gathered some of the surrounding lava, even though it would get some of the light source. Still needed it for the portal. Every time I looked up, I saw more ore, and I knew I had to get it. I made sure to explore every last piece of the ravine. I freaked out and thought that was diamonds. After a good search and packed up camp, I was ready to head back up to the surface. It had been a long day. I breached the surface the next day and looked like it was early morning by the signs of the mob spawning. I continued my journey far and wide that day. I feel like I had enough materials to start going to the nether. I traveled through an oaken forest until I found exactly what I was looking for. Iron. It was really the last thing I was looking for. I needed nothing more. Just a full iron suit and I'd be ready to go. As you can see, I explored this little cave here, and there was a lot more mobs than I thought there would be. Luckily, the creepers blew them all up. I grabbed all the rest of the iron in the cave, and decided to set up camp here again. It was almost dark. There seemed to be a big open area, so I started smelting the rest of the iron I had. Yeah, take a look at that. 39 iron. This would be enough for armor. I started crafting the iron armor the next day. And soon enough, I was complete iron armor. I was ready to go. Now all I needed was a portal. However, because it was nighttime, I set up my bed and went to bed. I gathered the last of my resources in the morning. I was ready to go. I continued my search for a portal. Oh, but what is this? A half-made portal? Indeed, in the forest I had found a half-made portal. This would make it a lot easier. It wasn't a lava pool, but I could work with it. Oh, there was even a flint and steel, and a lot of flint. I examined it and realized that I might just have just enough to make a portal. Just so I wouldn't lose it, I made a giant cobblestone tower so I would recognize it in the deep forest. When I got to the top, I decided to try something new. You see, I wanted to try the dream thing, where he throws the water on the ground and he lands on it and doesn't die. I was a little nervous, because I could die at this height. But when all said and done, I nailed it. I went through a new cave. Tried to find some more iron, but I only found a dead end. I traveled a little ways the other way, I knew I wouldn't be lost because of the giant cobblestone tower. I was finally ready. Just remember, this is the first time I've ever gone in the nether, so I was a little nervous, but I was excited. 
I made sure I had a respawn point and began the very careful process of using lava and water buckets to make obsidian. I gathered more blocks before I would go in, just in case something happened. Now, I had never done the lava and water thing, so this is going to be new for me. I had an idea of how to do it, though. I was really excited when I got my first obsidian done. I felt like I was getting somewhere. I was extremely careful the whole time, but soon, the portal was finished. I took the flint and steel and lit the portal. I had to take a little moment to stare at it, then went through. Unfortunately, I had to log off at this time, so I'm just going to end the video here. But yeah, I was really excited on how this was going to go, and I was ready for it. Again, I'm probably going to make a part two to this video, but it really depends on how this video does. Yeah, so please like, subscribe, comment, do whatever you can. It helps me out so much, and I'll see you in the next one.